Hell yeah. Oh, this game brings back pleasant memories. What is going on, everybody? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Deacon, and welcome to Let's Play L.A. Noir. Now, before we commence this episode, do not forget to hoax smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys and your families, follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and enjoy the show. Okay. Now, let's do this. God, I remember- A city on the verge of greatness. Oh. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car. The symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home, and have room to breathe not be overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. A city of pioneers. A city of dreamers. century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for, that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? Yourself. I made up my mind a long time ago. You trust yourself, that's what I... 14 Adam, 14 Adam, come in. 14. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective and ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. I remember playing this game back on the PS3. Here we go again. Son of a they bitch. Don't request uniforms you for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Woo! Move out of the way, folks. Alrighty. Let's see what we have. The coroner. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. Well, this is going to be fun. This is a fist hump. Yes, it just is. Going through uh, just give me a moment, please. Um, I'm just trying to... Uh, Hold on a minute. 
Right. Let's just get it over and done. Okay. All right. I just have had. Your way. I just we'll had to. Right um, to if you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Yes, I understand that. As I was saying, stop wrong. interrupting me, goddamn it. As I was saying, I had to change the graphics. It was lagging a bit. Look at this junk. Oh, I remember. What do you think? Have a good look around. It could be anywhere. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. Newspapers provide backstory on events which may or may not be re related to the investigation. I remember this. Dr. Fontaine, could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year. Because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes. Given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down treat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, Shiv. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering You went through a lot me. together. Yes, Doc. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon. And your penance, for your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure. For whom he can only smooth the path to death. Whoa, ho, ho. Hell yeah. Okay, so you right click on circumstantial. Yeah, irrelevant. I remember playing this on the PS3, and, um... In my opinion, playing this back on the PS3 was a little easier versus, uh... uh playing this game on the computer. Just so all y'all know, I'm playing this on Steam, by the way. And so far... Eh, it's a little complicated, you know, in terms of the controls. But I think I can manage. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Hell yeah. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Mm hmm. Press. Uh, what the fuck was that to open the notebook? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so pressing M is to access your maps. Pressing C allows me to look uh, back. Keep your eyes now. peeled. We don't want to miss anything. Pressing tab allows me to access my notebook. Scoot Peyton Murray, suspect detective Floyd Rose. Okay. Voila. Ralph. Or something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? Reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. Okay. All right. Don't hurt yourself. Eh, yeah, don't worry. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. They got uh, stuff on the roof, right? I we need to find a way up. 
Absolutely we need to find a way up. And of course, try not try not to contaminate a crime scene. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? How the fuck am I gonna get up there? I really have vague memories about this game. It's just Oh, never mind. I don't remember much about this game. So, at least I get to experience an exciting game. Hey, hey, hey. Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. Uh -huh. Two rounds. Two rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Hmm. Oh, God. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. Good idea. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. Could show some initiative, Ralph. Let's see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Interesting. Okay, let's go. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout. Can't wait to get out of that uniform. Lousy detectives, they just want to go home because they're tired. The road. I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. Yes, I understand It'll that. You'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Okay. Move it, soldier. Okay, now we gotta move. Oh shit. What are you doing to this car? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh what is wrong with me today? <laughs> Okay. Okay, here we are. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. Okay. It's about something bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Looking for it. Model 27. Hey. Errol Schroeder. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Ah, shit, that, that was... There you go. 
go. I meant to go in through there. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform. Slow down! Sorry. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of them. No, you get out of the way, son. Who, who are you? Hell yeah. I have to cut my way into this. Ah, Watch it. shit. Damn, come on. It's my first day, so... What the fuck? Oh, there we are. Here we are, finally. It's my first day, so I'm learning how to get used to the controls, okay? <laughs> Cut me some slack. Okay. Schroeder, number two. Schroeder, Harvin two. Hello? What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. What? You ready, tough guy? Huh? No. Oh, I gotta, uh, never mind. Okay. Wow. I would have loved to have seen the table Ralph, break. You all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm going to take a look around. Of course. Don't forget your cover. Of course, always be sure. Oh no. That's irrelevant. Clayton. Hey, Floyd Rose. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247.
You dumb fucking sons of bitches. Get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. 